Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video. Today is the day I will be doing another one of those crazy NPC battles against base builder. Remember, if you guys want your, uh, if you guys want me to attack your base for this type of video, just leave a link to your NPC base, uh, you, your NPC base on the Lieutenant Hammerman base builder online. Anyway, let's jump into the video. So basically guys, if you haven't seen the last video, how I do this is I have one attack to try to defeat my fan bases and they tell me what troops to use. So let me know, uh, just paste your link and tell me what troops to use. Um, but this one is called D-Day and it was designed by Lava Rock. Uh, so let's uh, attempt to take it out. So this guy said I could attack it with any troops. Um, this is actually a pretty cool layout, I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is one of the better layouts. It should be a fairly easy attack and I just realized I have the tribal, uh, what, oh, what's it, Dr. Kavan. I have Dr. Kavan in my hero box, or my hero boat. Uh, so we're going to kind of go at an angle here. It should work, um, and we're just going to do that type of landing, or that type of uh, park. Basically, guys, I've been trying to, uh, uh, you know, learn some new hero strategies. Dr. Kavan, if you position him right, oops, that was a mistake. If you position Dr. Kavan right, he'll actually uh, stand inside your last and final smoke. So it's kind of cool. Uh, I, I don't know if it's better than uh, Battle Orders, but it definitely works, guys. So I defeated D-Day, which was a pretty pretty easy base, but it looked it looked awesome. And it would be a lot harder with something like uh, tanks or something. But it's a fairly easy warrior base. Anyway, let's jump into the next one. Okay guys, so this is the next base. We're gonna hit test base and try it out. So he said I can use any troop, but not or but no GBE. So uh, maybe warriors isn't the best attack strategy. So yeah, we're gonna train up something else because I'm not allowed to use GBE, which means I just land my troops and let them go. And I think RZCM would be the best. You gotta love that instant retrain, guys. Let's do this. We're gonna, oh gosh. Okay, so we have to use our flare, our flag. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna attempt. Okay, so tribal medic is actually or no, Doctor Kavan. Sorry, Doctor Kavan is actually one of the best uh, troops, or the it is the best hero, or maybe not the best hero, uh, for uh, this type of no GBE attack strategy. And I've been actually actually liking uh, Doctor Kavan with RZCM when I can use GBE. I've been attacking a lot with RZCM recently. Uh, but yeah, we're not allowed to use gumboat energy, which means we can't land flares and I'm liking the way this is playing out My zookas are kind of flanking right And my medics all hooked are all hooked on to my riflemen, which is good because that's what we need uh, We're just soaking up some gumbo energy here guys now for those of you that posted multiple base links I'm gonna I, I looked through them all and I just basically picked the most interesting one if you guys want uh, to enter again just paste your link in this video or the last video and I will get it so I will find all of the links and this was a fairly easy one of RZCM guys I'm not gonna lie so I like that a lot now some of these bases are absolutely insane it's gonna take an insane amount of skill to beat them so uh, this next one I have to use with warriors oh man this looks like a pretty tough base so basically if you guys are able to defeat me I only get one attack if you guys are able to defeat me good for you like that's at something but you know what if I had multiple attacks and I am on boosted by the way I just gotta say that I didn't show you my boost but I am on boosted so this one is warriors we can use GBE obviously <laughs> um, this might even be one of the hardest bases out there so you have to use warriors that was the challenge so oh come on All right, and I, I only get one attack guys so I can't retreat and do uh, try again so what we're gonna do here I'm not gonna take out anything of gumboat energy I am going to try to take advantage of this uh, tribal medic and I would say this is probably one of the toughest NPC bases I have ever seen so we're trying to avoid all those extra boom mines so basically the way I do that is when my outer troops Okay, we need to get to the HQ before our troops are healed up. So my tribal, my Dr. Kavan will stand inside the smoke and he's not, um, which kind of stinks. But we need to be perfect with our critters here. Uh, we're going to activate our ability, drop a couple shocks, and just hope for the best. Just go, go. As soon as these shock launchers fire, I am dead. There's no, yeah, I, oh gosh, okay, come on, come on. Just go, 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 go. Are you kidding me? 
Look at that. There's no HP left. That bugs me, and I can't try it again. Oh, that makes me so mad, but good job. You beat me. Okay, guys, so this next guy created a story mode. So he basically basically created five bases and wanted me to test them all, but I just picked the most interesting one. I'm sorry, I can't make a whole video dedicated to one person. A lot of people want me to attack their bases. We actually got an insane amount of... I, I keep forgetting to trade out my tribal warrior, but it, it's fine. I, uh, I keep forgetting uh, to... No, I, I, I don't, I, I got so many requests from people that want me to review their bases, so I can't, I, I'm sorry, I, I would love to do everyone in one video, but I can't. I'm doing like 12 in every video, which I would say is a pretty fair number, um, and yeah, I don't know how I like the tribal medic guys, honestly. Like, the range is big enough, and I'm getting pretty good at my reverse smokes, we're gonna try to do this one without losses. Should be a fairly easy. Some of these are meant for lower level players, so that's kind of why I said um, you can ask, you can tell me what troops use. Because some people said, okay, one boat of riflemen, no Jeep E, and it was meant for a lower level player. So if you guys have a lower level base, make sure you tell me like four boats or one boat or something like that. But it has to be doable, you know? You can't just say, okay, one boat of uh, riflemen for that last base that I just lost. Not the last base, but last, last base. Okay, guys, this is another one. Someone posted multiple, uh, multiple, okay, wait, what's he say? Any troops. So maybe Warriors isn't the best strategy for this base. Um, so yeah, let's train up tanks. No, tanks would be awful. Grenadiers would be fun to watch, but I don't think they would do very well either. Okay, we're gonna do a cross between Grenadiers. We'll get a couple medics and we'll grab like two boats of riflemen and that should work. Probably not. Uh, I don't really know how to attack a base like this with all these shock mines. Okay, so I have tribal medic with shields, which might help. Um, I don't think shields would be the best. Revive would be nice, but I don't have a revive unlocked yet. And we're just gonna use critters here to distract. Shock launchers don't deal that much damage, but they do, uh, okay, so we are losing a lot of troops. So I'm using the riflemen uh, to just destroy all the shock mines and my grenadiers uh, to pick up some stuff. We're gonna use our ability just because I don't want to lose any riflemen uh, by the beach. And let's actually remove some mines here. I'm just removing all of these stupid mines. Uh, so riflemen will take those two shock mines. Uh, and back here, we should remove some of these. And as soon as we clear some of these shock mines, we should be fine. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thanks because that last video you guys destroyed. We got like 30,000 views within the first 24 hours, which is the most one of our videos has done um, that wasn't like... I think that is actually the most one of our videos have done within the first uh, 48 hours, which was awesome. So... Um, anyway, riflemen are, bar are barely dying. We haven't lost any grenadiers yet. We should be able to do this. The only problem I'm seeing would be maybe a time battle, but honestly, we cleared most of the base. So grenadiers, guys, can destroy uh, shock shock launcher bases. But if I just had grenadiers, oh gosh, I might not want to say destroy because I might even actually lose this. So we're going to shock here so these riflemen can get ahead of our zookas. As soon as uh, this shock launcher goes, we should be fine. So good, our riflemen are in front of... Uh, did I say Zookas and my Grenadiers? Uh, our riflemen are in front of our Grenadiers. We're hitting the core, and we should be able to take it out here. If these riflemen are about to die, I will be dropping a med kit. I do not want to lose those riflemen right there, because if I lose them, my Grenadiers will get targeted. But it looks like we've uh, stabled out the damage, and we should be able to take this one down. So... Easy. No, it wasn't easy. That was a pretty fun base by Mac One. So nice base. Okay, this one does not look fun <laughs> with all scorchers, guys. We're gonna test it out, but I. Oh man. Okay, and obviously this ability, I keep forgetting to change it out. But we're gonna see how shield works with all scorchers. So what we can do is we can do a landing like this, kind of like you would in an operation if you're using all scorchers. Uh, this is kind of how you land all scorchers in an operation. Oh, are you kidding me? I know. <laughs> uh, okay, that one scorcher should be fine. So I hit one shock mine and actually played out well because that one scorcher was able to catch. Nope. Now he's going to be behind. Okay, one scorcher shouldn't make a difference. Maybe attacking this side might not be the best. But this one is actually a legit base. And I, I legitimately like the looks of this base. We're going to shock... 
we can use our hero. A hero is gonna help us, not by healing, but by. Oh, okay, so we need to just. We're just gonna keep dropping shocks on these boom cannons. Uh, let's start targeting this shock launcher back here. If you guys don't know, I used to be a huge Scorcher player, so this is kind of like a throwback. Uh, let's use our ability so we can see some shields. Uh, it might even be a good strategy with, with the shields, and I'm actually... Uh, <laughs> thought it would be harder than this. It looks... Bleh. Wow, I, I kind of uh, just steamrolled that base. And I barely lost any HP on my Scorchers. We'll do a little... Sl oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, we barely lost. I was, I was looking at a critter. There we go, guys. Okay, guys, this next base, the guy told me one boat of riflemen, no gunboat energy. And he spent a lot of time. He wants this to get in the game. And this one actually looks cool. And if I was signed in, I would have liked that base. Okay, so one boat of riflemen, 26 riflemen. You know what? Oh, my gosh. Look how many villagers there are. What? <laughs> it's like a mob. Wow. What? That's so funny. I don't know why... It makes me so funny. So they're all going to run into the HQ as soon as we land. <laughs> Look at that. They're like, oh no, we're in battle. I don't know if I'm allowed to drop my hero. I'm just going to say no, I'm not. Uh, because, you know what? This base should be fairly easy. Uh, my, my riflemen are super, super high level. They're maxed. Uh, and against a level 14 base, you know what? Even though I only have one boat, I shouldn't even lose any troops from this. But you know what? This base... This base looks fun. I, this is the type of base Boom Beach needs to put in the game for lower levels. This base, I would love to attack this type of base at a lower level. But anyway. Um, wow, this is a fun This is a fun series, guys. It's kind of like Mario Maker. If you've ever... Super Mario Maker, if you ever played... Or is it play? I haven't seen videos of it. I mean, I've seen videos, but I haven't, like, played it. So, um... It's, it's kind of like the same feature. And, guys, it's a lot of fun just going on the Base Builder website and just it, – it's just a lot of fun just attacking uh, just random bases if you're ever bored. So this next guy said I can use any troops I want. Okay, so this is the next base. Uh, it should be fairly easy. It's by – it's just by Commander. Is that his name or is it by someone who didn't create an account? Uh, it's probably by someone who didn't create an account. I do, or or it's his name. So I'm just going to do the whole video with shields because I keep forgetting to change it. Uh, we're just going to line up right here. And then we're going to flare to the corner here. You never... Okay, so stuff I learned. You never really want to flare to a building when you're running across the map. Uh, there are times, but you never really want to do that because what, what happens is the score or your warriors will spread out a lot more. Kind of like what you see in operation attacks. We're going to try to do this without any losses. Guys, my warriors are insane. You can't even see what they're doing there but because they're covered by that shield. But we were able to do that. And I don't even... Okay, we, we lost a shield on a couple warriors. But you know what? Still a fun... It was a pretty fun base. It would be hard if our troop combinations. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I'm doing this with warriors because that's... I, I'm pretty sure that's the only troop combination that can possibly take this down. So we're gonna try it out. What? Okay, let's let's plan this out. Where's the the shock mines everywhere? What? Uh, he calls it dead end, and it's oh, it's it's is it, it's designed by King Power VP. Uh, so VN, sorry, uh, United Nation. No, VN I believe is a top task force. I'm not a big. I don't like look at the top 50, but I believe VN is in the top 50 uh, leaderboard. So I don't know if this guy is from VN or not. Um, okay, so we only have one attack, so we can't retreat now. I made a little bit of a, of a mistake here. Uh, we, we have to use the critters because our, our stuff is getting way too expensive here. I'm going to use one more right here. So how am I going to do this landing? We kind of have to do what we did in the first, in the first video. Okay, lots of shock mines. This is going to hurt, guys. <laughs> should we use our... No, we, we should keep our hero alive. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop a flare here. We're going to drop a smoke. One, two, three. One, two, three. Smoke. One, two, three. Smoke, smoke. Okay, guys, there's like a 20% chance. Uh, no, there's like a 4% chance I beat this base. Literally. A 4% chance, guys. I don't know why I said 4. Um, 
but it is literally a 4% chance. So I have no more gumbo energy. There's a 0% chance I'll beat this. <laughs> well, I'm just zooming out so you guys can see the action. Oh, man. That was not fun at all. I'm pretty sure that is an impossible base to destroy. That is the impossible base. I don't even know how you would go about it. I bet I could do it if I had boosted gumbo energy, but not... Oh, you know what? Okay, we're going to try that one more time, guys. Guys, I know I said I'm only attacking each base once, but I really want to try and beat this base. And I, I just uh, thought of a new kind of strategy. And like, Christian, what the heck are you doing with Ever Spark? What ability do you have, Christian? And you guys are about to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. Okay, hopefully this works. We're going to drop a barrage back here to destroy some mines. She'll fire. She'll destroy the mines in that area. That's going to save us some. We're going to do that, that, that and critters drop our troops uh smoke smoke a uh, drop okay yep nope 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 <laughs> you know what it worked it worked in theory and it might even have gumbo energy no i'm not even oh i just wasted all my gumbo energy wow this is a tough base and i bet if i had boosted uh stuff boosted stuff up i i bet i could beat this base guys but it just it just looks too tough i'm scared like it, it, it's the mines it's the it's the shock mines and it takes so much to clear the shock mines you have no more gumbo energy but that's part of the challenge i guess okay i'm allowed to it's oh what <laughs> i'm allowed to use any troops i want for this and i want to see what she does can i okay so no she tar she actually targets wow and Okay, how how on earth am I going to do this? How, how fast can critters run? Can critters... Nope. Nope. What if I do it like that? And they run. I, th I've, I thought if critters run, they can outrun the mine delay. Obviously not. Okay, uh, honestly guys, Scorchers would be the best against this, but I don't want to use Scorchers. We're going to do that. We're all going to get grouped up here. Since the uh, stuff is back there, they should walk uh, in a line here. And shoot, I should have cleared. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so we have a lot of warriors left. Uh, we can still do this. We have a couple of our... Oh, nope, we do not have a lot of warriors left. Two shocks, shock everything. And now it's just waiting battle. What we can do is we can take down that. And we can't take down that. Nope. Um these two warriors back here and the shock launch a delay uh, if 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 they can heal up faster than the flame fires or they have more healing up nope 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 we lost okay and that was disappointing but you know what that was a fun base to attack guys i want to try something i know i know i know uh, but i want to try something else here i'm going to use all scorchers and i just want to see how much damage they take from the wall so we're just going to land and see how they work. I just, I'm going to land them like this because I can. Oh, how is this How is this going to work? It's like a walk. What? Oh my gosh, you're almost dead. Some of them are almost dead. Wow. We did not get far into that base. We destroyed about half it. Okay. And finally, guys, the last base I'm going to attack. I'm allowed to use any troop combination but warriors or score. I just looked at the base. Nope. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. But warriors or scorchers, we're doing it with REZCM. <laughs> we're doing no, we're get, we're gonna attempt it. Or smoky. Smoky might actually work. Guys, I had to switch combinations. There was no way that was going to happen. We have brick uh with uni with what's it called? Oh come on, I forgot now. We have brick with battle orders on ready ready guys. All prepared to die for the cause. I have one attack. Let's make this count so we're not we're not gonna have much gum if i can do this guys i am going to be so happy with myself uh we're using that drop a flare um we do have a slight problem with this landing kind of have to drop our troops fast because one boat is gonna have to go on the end no oh they're all fit okay uh, we're gonna drop a flare up here <laughs> That hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Oh, we're gonna drop a flare back here to the corner. We're walking. Okay, now it's just a hope. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. And let's hope I get my shocks down on time. 
Okay, so they're doing a weird little walk, so we have to be careful here. We'll do two smokes at the end. Let's activate our hero's ability. Hopefully, she doesn't walk outside to smoke. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to drop a flare back, flare two. Oh, we're going to drop a couple. We had enough for one. No, we just had critters. Oh my gosh, how did we beat that? We one-shot the core. Guys, we were not even... We, we could not... Like, if we had to... That damage I had. If I didn't... If I wasn't able to take it out in the first shot, I would have lost the battle. I beat it. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so pumped. But anyway, guys, that's going to be for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, we post daily Boom Beach content, daily Brawl Stars content. So make sure you are subscribed to our channel. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.